Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to finally another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. It has been quite some time since I've said that and since I've recorded in real time and I've gotten so many comments saying when Red Dead 2, where Red Dead 2, rip Red Dead 2, Red Dead 2 dead, she's no longer playing it, she hates us, she has given up on it, rip the playthrough. I am here to tell you that that is not true because we're playing it right now. It's just been a really crazy last few weeks, y'all, so... I did uh, TwitchCon Las Vegas, which was really fun. Got to meet some community members and some old streamer friends, and that was a blast. And then afterwards, I got to go to LA and meet some friends there. And we did uh, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. And this year, they had a Last of Us maze. They had actors for Ellie and Joel and bloaters and all sorts of like realistic zombies. So it was really fun. And then unfortunately, I got COVID. So <laughs> two of the three weeks were a hit, and then the last week off was a miss. So, if you watched my Until Dawn playthrough, I was definitely a little bit sniffly and sickly, and actually I ended up having COVID. So I've been resting for the last week, and now I'm ready emotionally, physically, mentally to get back into this game. I did not abandon you all! I did not abandon you all. And as far as the story goes, I'm pretty easily immersed. I don't feel like I'm, like, behind as far as the story goes. We're at our camp. Last time we left off, we were still continuing with the feud between the Braithwaites and the Greys, and we're still playing Sheriff's Deputy, and I feel like that's really it. So we're exactly where we left off. I'm super excited to jump back into it. I've got my coffee, and I'm ready for chaos. I hope you are too. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, Bill, Micah, and Sean are meeting the Greys over the sal at the saloon over a job. Ah, yes, the familiar sound of scuffed auto saving. Look at that! Damn, look at our beard. Hold on. Oh shit! Maybe we should go take a bath and go into town first. Hi, Poochums. It also wouldn't hurt to... <laughs> the shaving kit. Oh, bank robbery slip. Oh, okay, we've seen this. It's the OG. Do some chores, maybe? Kind of <laughs> Isn't it always for you, Uncle? Good morning. Good morning. I have the song Glimpse of Us by Joji stuck in my head. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that bug. You see it? It's in the air! Wait, I didn't want to cancel the chore. It's in the air, the cup. Well, in this case, plenty. Without romance, we are nothing but monkeys. Monkeys? Those horses have bottomless stomachs. Yeah. <laughs> Who is he talking to about romance? Talking to Mary Beth. You weirdo. Damn, 3,000. I know you guys can't see because my head's blocking it, but th we have 3,000 schmeckles. I wasn't sure if that was the camp share or if that's our share. She took the word on shoulder. Does ever wanna move? There's our girl. There we go. My god, the freaking beard. I'm I'm all, I'm over it. Hey, Shady. So you didn't get Como Driscoll. Uh 
Good talk. <laughs> Hi, princess. God, that beard. How do you guys feel about the beard? I feel like I need a bath. A nice shaving. How are you? You be well, too. I'll try. I really will. Oh. Okay. And a nice meal. Whoa. Let's go, girl. Hope you guys are having a good time. Had a good last few weeks. In real time here, we're coming up on the holidays. It was just October, and now we're moving straight into that time of year. Thanksgiving, Christmas era. Whatever holiday you celebrate. And you know, because Duncan has their Christmas cups. Holiday cups, if you will. What's happening? Hey there, partner. You interested in the little friendly competition? Mmm, sure. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one oh. yet. What'd you well, say? Don't we find out. Five dollars is five dollars. Okay. Well, it's the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to name, we let fly. Okay. Go. That's right. Where are the rest of them? I don't see shit. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. I literally couldn't see them. It's hard lines, partner. Here's an idea. What do you say we raise the stakes? Sure, ten dollars. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before oh. we, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. Get your fucking weapon out. Sorry, that was really aggressive. I'm about to depopulate these birds real quick. You got a damn good shot, mister. Yeah. <sighs> Here you go. As promised. As I make the birds an endangered species. Thanks, friend. Three thousand dollars. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. We got a new friend. We always have some sort of bird shooting friend. Yeah. We had another one back on the other side of town. Howdy, mister. There, girl. Yeah. Oh god, I hear train. Whoop. Hey there, mister. Howdy, stranger. No weapons. For now. We're somehow gonna get ourselves kicked out of here. I don't know how yet. You're, you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> what time is it? 1 p.m.? I was gonna say, why is everything closed? Do we have to continue the story mission first? Hi. 
We've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. Mm -hmm. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. Yeah, just keep on talking about this out in the open. Big misunderstanding about them horses. Uh huh. What if they're bored of their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the brake lights. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. Yeah, the play on both sides were being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. What? What? That was our boy. Jesus Christ. Our boy. Come on. There you go, buddy. You're getting Fuck. This is insane. Do you see that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about slap. Sean. Jesus. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah. Thinking the Grays might be on to us. Yeah, you don't say. What is this gun outside? Oh. Okay, we must stay with him. Got it! Oopsies! I just wanted to... I saw a shiny. I saw a gun! Damn it. Sean! No more yet. Thinking the craze. Might be on to us. Fucking Micah. Why is it always Micah? Why is it always Micah? This is some damn posse of grace rounding up. We'd have had to deal with. 
these sons of bitches sooner or later. Yep. Turned out to be sooner. I took a great place to pause. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Damn. Okay, range three out of four, three out of four. Double barrel shotgun. It's hard to compare apples to oranges. I want both. Jesus. Don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Oh my god. Morgan? I am laughing right now because I took a break at the funniest time as the conflict is finally peaking and we're about to get kicked out of this town, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh, our boy Sean. He was a good kid. He was a good How kid. How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't mm. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. Micah? We were just hanging out with him. Speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Damn. <sighs> now what? I mean, we totally like saw it coming. You're little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. No! What a god. Damn mess we are making a thing. <laughs> that was really sad. Just little baby tears. Just little baby tears. Not many. I had to pour a couple tears out for our boy. What did it say in the top corner? I was busy crying. Man. Okay, my girl. Greetings. Hi there, mister. Oh no, we can't fucking go anywhere! How am I supposed to get a haircut? Oh lordy, we're about to not be allowed anywhere in this game, bro. Yeah. I was thinking the other day during my hiatus... Whoa! Put those away. I was thinking... 
I do want to do like the dream catchers and the cave paintings and stuff. So that might need to be its own episode. I might like take a little hiatus and try to do all of that. Probably sooner rather than later, considering the area in which we're allowed to go keeps shrinking. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts if you've if you've done all that? I want to Google a guide, so maybe when we have the rest of the map open. Because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm definitely going to cheat. <laughs> just being honest with you guys. I'm just going to pull up a guide and we're just going to explore and... Do all the things. Oh god. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. What? Took, uh, we think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Uh, Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, Jack? I, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Oh, God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. We need some extra guns. Yeah, why not? What a Martha, mess we've made. Aaron, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Dude, why do we get involved okay, with the fucking... Let's go get that boy back. Oh, man. Oh, all the boys are going. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Dude. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Oh, you know it's bad when John's mad. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. We are getting him back and they will pay. Dude. I promise you that. I knew this was gonna blow up big. Who gives a damn about the coal? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. <sighs> if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. I think that's the point. I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scale. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been recording for like 20 minutes. <sighs> I was not prepared. I need more coffee. Okay, get your hands right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Oh, boys are back in town, baby. Already did. Song, now Jack. We should have stayed out all That's what I'm saying, like Lenny. Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. You coming or what? We don't have all day. I'm coming. My Come camera on, froze. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. You know it's bad when John's fucked up. These redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Objectively, we messed with them first. They've had their long-standing feud, and we decided to add gasoline to the fire. People, if you... Okay, I'm sorry for pausing during cutscenes. I know it's a very big pet peeve of so many peoples, but I don't care because I have things that I need to say them. 
when you mess with a family, you mess with their blood, you mess with their feud, you mess with their money, things you don't fuck with. People's money and time. That is one thing I have learned in the military. You don't fuck with pay. You don't fuck with people's free time or like time or whatever. And we have messed with both of those things. Multiple times we have messed with their people's horses, their fields, their moonshine. We have wasted heap loads of their money and their time in doing such. So I, I mean, I'm not in favor of stealing kids. Don't be out here with outlandish accusations, accusations saying Aurelia is a fan of kidnapping. No, but I will say we, we deserve it. We deserve it. Dutch acts like he owns the place. And I understand that he's been fucked over and like we deserve a place in this world too, but you can't just go in and meddle with people's lives every single place you go. Every single rock you turn, we're there meddling in everyone's shit. So, I mean, like, we we deserve this. Does anyone disagree? I think that's, like, part of why people like my reaction to The Last of Us 2. I don't want to spoil it for those that haven't seen it. But, like, being able to see the picture for what it's worth. I'm not just out here simping for Arthur and the boys and being like, yeah, you stole the boy. Like, obviously we're not in the right here either so i don't know i don't know dude Fly at those sons of bitches. i would not be surprised if i need you to stay calm shit goes awry here someone's gonna die Get down here now, you inbred trash. could be the boy what the hell do you want? could be the boys Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Oh my god. Watch out here for any other arrivals. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that Braithwaite woman! They've gotta be upstairs, right? Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Where's Jack? I hear crying, or is that yelling? We've got it covered up here. Why can't I get? Do I have to go from the balcony? Come on. Why can't I go in the other room? How do I get in there? I need you searching down. Oh, Arthur. got it. That's and I have things covered up here, Arthur. Got it. <sighs> oh, that's why there's like flashing little birdies. Arthur, 
What? Now I go upstairs? Okay. Ow. Tell me there's no like fire thing. Like a fire barrel. John has died. Oh! Oopsie. Is it really an Aurelia playthrough? If I didn't get a main character killed. These guys just not. when you piss off an entire lineage. Beep boop. Fuck. Looks like they're running. Let's find a way into that room. Come on, this must be it. Come on. I can't see a goddamn thing. the boy you want me to kill you too old woman you bastards where's the boy we have lived in this house for 120 years we never had no problem except for where Yankees. is the boy who took him you killed my son oh and i will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking oh i know your time common scum where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Uh, oh my God. Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Imagine stumbling upon. What if he isn't here, though? Imagine stumbling upon this family's legacy. 
and killing all the people. The lady of the house. No more family feud because everyone's dead. Where's the boy? He's not here. Are we sure? Dude, I feel like we're gonna burn him in this house. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Yeah. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Yes. That's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. She's crazy? She took the boy and we burned out her whole plantation. Oh my god, bro. That was low key, like really badass. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this <laughs> scraggly gosh, beard, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. They do when you kill their Say, liquor oh, and the boy will be fine. But well, of fields. course, Martin scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. And what was it for? For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <sighs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Oh, the Pinkertons. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only Appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. Dang. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. A killer with smooth talking. I you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton. Family? Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. 
All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. Saint Denis. Few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Oh. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous. Oh, that's where the house. previous gang was. We're gonna hole up here. there. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. I feel like we were not there very long. Crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot. Follow me. I know the way. That's crazy. I feel like we just got to this new camp. It's only just begun. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We are. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. Yep. It's Dutch playing his games. Was Drew him right to our den. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. Yep. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. Yeah. One day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Meddling. On, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. You're rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. Don't that think about it too hard. Kid. We chose this life. He didn't. Because if you think about it, oh, I think this life chose us. you get to the truth. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. The Lomoyan Raiders. There are other hideouts what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, there. My God. Just don't go thinking about it. Should be just down this path to the left here. Don't think about it. Don't think about your childhood. Don't think about how you grew up. Were you always a bunch of cowboys searching for the next big thing? Gangsters robbing people. Taking from others so you could have for yourselves. I mean, it's a doggy dog world. That 
Quite a uh, existential conversation. Sooner we get this done, the better. Whoa. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. We were just here, so hopefully it's empty. Just had to kill. Just had to kill a few folks. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some other coward, like you. leader. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. You're the one hot. I'm me. Jesus. Damn. Uh, I would be more shocked, but I kind of saw it coming. Like, leaders ne always want to die at their own hand, if able. Not by the likes of someone else. Great. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want <sighs> the others walking into this. Yeah. Just cleaning up dead bodies. What, throw them in the river? Follow me. Yep. We're familiar with this act, aren't we? You guys remember the Red River from uh, the beginning of the game? My little murder creek. Murder swamp. Oh, look, it's a gator. Yum, 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 yum. Feeding time. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got in the mint. Wow, we actually have to clean up our own mess for once. That's a new concept. Around the jetty. The wall. The swamp is quite peaceful. Minus all the weird. Night folk and crazies and gators and it's pretty cozy overall. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Oh, Lord. Come Bonding on. time. George? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come Damn. On, Arthur. Why? What was that about? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Molly. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. Yeah. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis. Mm. I keep about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends, nothing major. We've already gotten into our fair share of trouble up here. What you'd expect. These 
taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Oh, Everyone perfect. Can put us in contact with need him. a haircut anyways. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Ocean? The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. Maybe if we stop really fucking stuff up. Now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Here we are. Oh, man. Ooh, oil. That's a fun effect. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Mm-hmm. They make it look so glamorous. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. They made it so... Yes. Gloomy, so grim. Chapter 4, Saint Denis. <gasps> we made it, boys! Complete chapter three, settling feuds. Yeah. New horses are available to purchase. Wow. All I need is me and good old princess. Hey, partner. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of uh, honor. Hey there. Hey, partner. That's a strong looking horse. Thank you kindly. Hey, mister. We're gonna need a lot of honor. Hey, mister. Do, sir? Out of the way there. Pardon. Oh, this is the voting lady again. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a gremlin myself, but I agree. I like rights. Madam. You know, it's terribly important. What is voting? Yes. Terribly. Once women get the vote, the whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. <laughs> There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first 10 years, of course. Oh. You see, men are such judges. Is that how it'll go? You need us women to help straighten you out. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think... We'll do a better job of things. <laughs> well, I hope you're right. Good luck. Wow. <laughs> well, I hope you're right. Good luck. Anything, anyone can give me, please Didn't the beggar rob us once? Hey, friend. Please. Hey there. You. Yes. Please, coin, please. Please. Coin. Hello, mister. 
I'll excuse you. Won't you lend a coin to a fellow in need? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Special snake nice oil. Give something instead of just begging. Oh, I thought someone said that. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Traveling here in the dirt. <sighs> wow. I could have sworn. Wow, and fortifies greatly and fully restores Deadeye. So the reason I said that was because one time we got like $50 from someone and then we went and gave money to someone that was begging and someone was like, oh, I think they stole it from you. So, yeah, I don't know. I still don't know. Saloon? Oh, is this the rat place or no? I don't know. What the fuck? Pick him up, cowboy. Broke the fence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. I do so, love Saint Denis. How you get on? It's so I've alive. Been around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead. It's my first shot. I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? Cool as a cucumber. Uh, hello. I definitely don't. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> hey, can I get a drink? That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> I need a haircut and a wash. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Over here. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Yeah. I ordered it. I I just hit order. Game. Hi, Jinky. Hi, yo, baby. Meet you in. Uh. I just ordered whiskey. I hit the order button. Oh. Good talk. <laughs> and one for yourself. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I got this. You ever heard of a feller by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. There we go. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. This place is such a vibe. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know, I guess. In the alley? Oh, hey, friend. You be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Okay. Can I order some food? And a shower? Jinky! You need to harass people, baby girl? Baby Goyle! Come here. Yeah, there you go. Get all comfy like. Oh, 
Sí, me dijeron. Me dijeron, they're telling me. Whoa. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. Okay. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. <sighs> got 3,000. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Oh, this will be interesting. No one as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, Bella. Okay. That's wow. Baron Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. This guy's giving us a whole tour. This is worth five dollars. Oh, real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Wow. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, Mister? No. We're Catholics here, Mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine... Yeah, look at them. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits! Let's go! That fellow looks angry! Stop, you shit! Oh, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna do at all. Three thousand dollars. Oh hell no. I knew this was gonna be some sort of scam. You give that back. Oh I'm mad. Come back here, you damn kid! I mean I can't blame him. I'll kill you, thieving bastard. <laughs> Pigs to feed. I have three thousand dollars in that coin purse. I know I don't look like much. Sorry. I don't care. Where is this fucker? Bastard got off. You that kid? That shit went that way. Thank you. Come on. Bye, mister. <laughs> hey, big love. Get love. I said, get love, you dumb yokel. I'll spend it on something nice, mister. I promise. You gotta stop right now. God damn it. Come on, run like the ghost got loose. God! Get back here. You underestimate my cardio, buddy boy. You ain't got a chance in hell, you loco. Oh, so you don't fucking know how many times I've toppled down mountains. I'm just gonna shoot this kid. Oh, he went to the trapper. The cucumber is definitely a fruit. On, mister. I like you. This fucking kid. Thank you for your help. Mittens, what? Oh, you better hurry up. Mm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Bro. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now. Come on. 
You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't <sighs> never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. We got kids he's got a now? house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. That's the He's idea. Got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Jesus. What in the world? Some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Ginseng. Let's go. I love helping people. Money playing poker. Aw. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Okay. Shop robbery too. Above the gunsmith. He gave us some ginseng and a robbery. Noted for the next time we're less dead. Jinx, can you stop it? Sweetie pie. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a day! I don't even know how long I've been playing for. I feel like I'm watching a movie. This is insane. So much has happened. Alright. Still need a bath. Okay, wait. Can I go to the barber shop first? I'm looking... So you getting along okay. Rather unruly. Oh, I will keep you in thought and prayer. Hi there, mister. Hello. Hello. Uh, Jesus. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat. Let's get to work. Ha <laughs> idea of what you want? Uh, can we do a man bun? Oh my god, we can look like Jesus. That's, uh, looks pretty good. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, I forgot what his face looks like. Soup support. Oh my god, we can finally get the mustache. We're at seven. Ooh. Should I just leave it then? Thank you. Oh my okay. god. Six of nine. Nice. Four of nine. Four of nine.
I don't want- I don't know. We're already this far. Oh. I feel like if I cut it, you guys are gonna get mad, because he's already so- we're so far. Ladies love a gentleman with a well-groomed mustache. We're also a city man now. Have we aged or am I just tripping? That's pretty decent. I think this is what I just did. This is literally what I just did. Okay. We're looking good. Growing the hair out. Yeah. I guess we're all done here. We're still dirty though. Thanks for your assistance. So uh we're gonna need a little bit of a bath. And some food. I need to get my honor back after that whole horse thing. You guys didn't see that. Hello. You won't believe this, but we found a gold nugget the other day. And lost it right after. I don't believe it. Salut, mon mignon. Salut, mon mignon. Order <gasps> the lobster bisque prime rib. Okay, we deserve it. We've been through a lot. That just put us through a lot recently. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Ooh wee! Hey, mister. I don't know if I'm a big prime rib girl. I prefer a normal steak, but I'm not gonna say no. Howdy. Hello. You know. You know a little horseradish sauce. Not bad. Not bad. Got a smile on my face today. Well, happy day. Hey, ma'am. Hello. Hot today, ain't it? There he is. God damn. Coffee. You guys know what I like. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? <laughs> Bunch of children. <laughs> True. I won't inquire anymore. But you had to be there. Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody looking knows dashing. Nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Yeah. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Huh. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. True. Joys of civilization. Uh, buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Hello, ma'am. Hola, señorita, ¿cómo estás? Any Russian immigrants? Здравствуйте, как дела? Where's the trapper? Wasn't he uh, inside? Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Oh, wait, this is the sh I meant the fence, not the trapper. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. I am in a good mood for some reason. Oh, Madam, back here. What is this mystery happening up there? Wait. The fence can wait. Is it more rats? I swear to God. Another one? What's happening over here? Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work. Huh? <laughs> wrong on two counts, sir. Help a brother I'm out. A, brother, a 
penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. I have money. Sure. Bless you, sir. Hey, getting on anyhow. These I have a beard again? Apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. We just shaved. Be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. Aww. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1890. What did people in my comments section say? Yourself. What did people in my comments section say? They were like, wow, Aurelia, why are you bringing up slavery? It's, there's no slavery in this game. It's 1899. You're so political, Aurelia. I hate people so goddamn much. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door. I hate people. He sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Fucking hate people. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am, but we can't ignore the rumors. I hate people. Oh, hello. Is there something else? Hello. Mire por donde va. Watch where you're going. Lo siento. You timed it well. Some quality pieces. In. At the moment. Uh... A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. I just wanted to sell my stuff to the fence. Book called the Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Ajate, Ajate. Wow, Aurelia. Why are you making this game so political? Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. I hope so. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Hopefully. Come on. Oh god, we just gotta make it to the monk. Unless there's people waiting outside. This way. Oh, it's raining. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Mm. 
Tenemos que confiar en él. Hello. Okay. Brother, brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on. <laughs> you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Wow. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. No! I could not have freed these men myself. No! Give to the poor. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. That guy had a really nice voice. Good voice acting. I like that guy. I like that guy. Me gusta. Oh, he's still gonna hit the other question mark. Good. I thought it disappeared on us. Yay. This is a great day. Yay. Let me in. Fuck. Hello. The hell? Hey. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Brandy, buy me a drink, mon ami. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. You're Thank a you. fine girl. Brandy. <laughs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally. Hmm? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know about that. What do you do? Mostly I kill people. Shoot yep. People. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. <laughs> Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot oh. paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. So here. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly <laughs> place with old buildings and ghosts and yes. shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm. I guess so. True. You know, uh, Arthur. Charles. Charles. You no, know, Arthur. Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies. Oh. But the vagina. That is truth. Breasts is truth. Oh! For it is. True! So. No, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. I love booby. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Believe it or not, it's the most inter yes. interesting conversation I've had in hours. It? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Booby! Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with I it. Don't I don't think so. Just, thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind. That's going to be worth a lot of money. Good meeting you. No fucking way. Dude, that's going to be worth a lot of money. That's going to come back somehow. He's going to, like, die. And it's going to be worth so much money or something. Dude, that's crazy. We had a meal, we had some whiskey with some, with an artist. Dutch, what's over here? Sure. Mary Beth. Oh, we need to talk to her. Oh, I want to see our new camp. So much to do. And there's another wildlife photographer case happening. Oh my gosh. Hey, mister. Hello. Hey there, mister. Piggy. 
Oh my. Where are we going? God, I love Saint Denis. Yes. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? Huh? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. This guy's like an engineer or something. What is it for? Looks like an inventor. Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. Yeah. Of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Uh -huh. Please, friend, I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. What? Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that another time. Been a while. Hello, sir. Our beautiful princess. Love machine, huh? Hello, mister. Hello. Hello, sir. I am. Howdy. Hi there, ma'am. Hi there, mister. Hi there, mister. It's two in the morning. I still get up like my other shoe. We don't want to be downwind of him. Got something to say? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on, then. I heard some, some talking, and there was like a little oh, bubble. Okay, so I could get into a fight there. Got it. Hey, We're busy. Madam. Madam. I guess we're keeping the beard. God said, let there be beards. So that's what we're doing. Hi there, mister. Whoops. ¿Qué pasa I almost killed that guy. Hey there. Señor. Dios mío. Hey, Boje moi. Извините меня, пожалуйста. Excuse me, please. Oh, there he is. There's our boy. Oh, we're outside of his place. You boys ready? Of course. Oh what man. Do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power. Oh, it's this house. I always thought this one was pretty. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, it's not gonna end up any better than Rhodes. Shot that I guarantee. Yep. Better like this. You're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Trust this me. Place. We'll charm them. <coughs> Must be. Not our first yeah. time. I guess. Charming folks. What could go wrong? Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, this is good. Your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Didn't we just say we were gonna schmooze him? Run along now, boy. Hey, uh, there's some really angry, aggressive men outside the door. I would make sure you bring extra security downstairs when you go talk to him. Clean up on aisle seven. Come on, guys. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got Dutch, this. you're being irrational. You're being unstable. Fuck me, man. <sighs> okay, here we go. We just got here, man. We come in peace. We just got 
got it. Need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Yeah, by hassling his security men? Trust me, I got this. Acts like a dick bag. What is this, the Mafia? Godfather? What the fuck? Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Yeah, come in at a man's house and threaten him, Dutch. Real smooth. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? Literally. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? I mean, good point. Indeed you have. Yeah, you're stinky. These guys are stinky. You just let a bunch of stinky little cowboys who've been shooting up the whole town just come in here and... I'm with you, guy. Now, we are simple country folk All okay we have is each other we're playing that card now and you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you twist words. He sure does. Lie shamelessly. You sure does. Better than everyone else. Sure does. Oh, he sees right through his evil scheme. But he might have enough respect for him being a weasel. Theodore. <laughs> I knew <laughs> it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. John Marston. All mine, please. I love it. I fucking knew it. That's so hilarious. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, he's dead. Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course, I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Ah. Oh. That is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> Snakes. So they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Bronte Salute. is a snake. Salute. One of my new favorite characters in the game. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. What time is it? Uh, it's just like story time. Okay, because I was... On, tabbing out to see what time of day it was. Obviously you know it's night, but cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot. True. Worse. That poor kid. Look at that moon. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. I hope he's He'll okay. What a thing to say about your son. I figured the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. 
must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. We're right across the street. God, this game is so cinematic. So easy to just get lost. Oh, any grave hags? Those things are sexy. You guys ever play The Witcher? They got that big booba. <laughs> big boobies. Hang into the ground. Big beer belly, only it's full of like children or something. I don't know. Hello? Any grave rubbers? Oh. Found one. I saw him run. Y'all saw that? Yep. And a dog. Hey there, boy. I saw a human run this way. I saw that. Where'd you go? Jinx is with me here. Oh, is that an open door over there? Oh. There we go. Oh. Get in cover. I hear something in there. Yeah, Poochie. Move out of the way, little pup. Little Poochie Pooch. You boys found my puppy. Watch it. <gasps> you boys found my pappy's watch yet? Oh shit. Damn it. How many you see? Three, four. We've taken out our armies. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Bastards are trying to draw us out. I mean. I can't see more than damn. Where are these? There's one more. Where are we at? <laughs> there he is. Hell yeah. Oop. Unless it's a pup. Don't kill the pooch. Should we go grave robbing? Any goodies in here? Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin, <laughs> we've hit the big time. Guess I wasn't kidding. Well, we gotta get the loot back. Ew. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Working on it, buddy. Huh? Think there might be something in here. There we go. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. I want to rob the grave robbers, but I don't want to lose yeah, honor. Yep. Oh, maybe we can get out that gate. Lock. Come on. Let's just track back to where we came in. Oh, damn it. We best stick to the side. Yep. Not the first time we've escaped the law, am I right? I found a body. Oh shit. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must have just been killed. They're still here. Turn around. Come 
Yeah, there you go. Come on, John. Mr. Marston. Come on. What you doing, old sport? Dude, he is all the way the fuck back there. What the? Dude. Maybe I can just get to the checkpoint without him. How am I supposed to get past here? Can I throw a rock? I know this isn't The Last of Us, but... Oh. That works. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. He magically spawned. Let's go, girl. Come on. Oh, hello, random person that just spawned. Slightly terrifying. Oh my. There we go, look at that. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there and collect our side of the deal. Say Denise so pretty at night. He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty I mean, he's got a manor in the middle of town. Would you see where we're at once we got Jack? There's Dutch's horse. <sighs> Let's see. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Oh my god, he's alive. You took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. I'm you know, fine. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Oh boy, getting intermingled and with politics again. The simple country boys. Wow. Thank God he's alive. Jesus. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. Next time, we'll pick right back up where we left off with exploring the newfound uh, hideaway. Well, not really new. We've been there before. We killed a bunch of folks there and then again. But our newfound hideaway to the group. And then we'll continue with the politics and shenanigans at St. Denis now that we actually belong here. Whereas previously, we heard just... Uh, causing a ruckus and exploring the map without quests and just running around. But we got a lot to do, man. We got this whole moonshine quest now. We got the um, tip about the place above the gun store. And then we also have the main story. So we are chock full of ideas and places to go and things to be doing. It is so good to be back, y'all. I am so happy to be here and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. See ya.